The only thing I know is that I know nothing. This is, uh, if you look in Wikipedia, is an account of Plato about what Socrates, the famous Greek philosopher, used to say. I believe this is a sentence, if you like, in a philosophy that a lot of people that work in the field of uh, artificial intelligence as a managers or as orchestrators in both the product, the engineering, or even a little bit higher uh, in terms of business position should own. Here is the reason why. I see a lot of people that even if they have a lot of years of experience, they tend to neglect the importance of certain aspects of uh, creating a artificial intelligence product or, or a project, or some kind of projects. Very often projects are just, you know, small projects within established projects. And they tend to say, okay, algorithms need to learn, do the learning, and then give me the results, very superficially. But this is not really the way. It's, it's a very important aspect of designing a, an artificial intelligence product or, or a process to look at how the algorithms learn. And why is that? Because the learning of the algorithms requires a lot of human beings for human beings, learning requires a few examples. So if you give me three or four examples, more or less I, I can learn. Okay, probably to learn to pilot an airplane, I need more than two or three examples. But most of the time, if you give me the concept, I can start doing it. A lot of times, especially in the field, it's known as deep learning. The algorithm needs thousands, if not hundreds of thousands, if not millions sometimes of examples and these examples are created by human beings that's a problem it's a lot of work it's a big investment so as a manager or as a business orchestrator or i would say as an ai playmaker if you want to be an artificial intelligence playmaker you need to think of a number of things number one is what's going to be the end results you want to achieve how performing this algorithm to be in the framework of your product or your process. Once you establish that, now you wanna make an investment, like how much is gonna cost me to reach that point? And then you wanna know as to how long it's gonna take me to reach that point. Here comes another important thing, which is, all right, if I make an investment today, this investment, do I wanna use it in the future so that I can reutilize the investment I make? Or this is more of a dead end, this is just one-time investment. Depending on all these various factors and all these various parameters, when you look at the uh, teaching of the algorithms, then you come up with different uh, balances, uh, different solutions that you can take. And uh, typically, I would say you could outsource this completely, but it's fairly expensive. At least here in the United States, it's fairly expensive. There are a number of companies doing this, but it's fairly expensive. You might have to insource this. And if you source this, it means really creating uh, a number of, uh, you know, really software user interface. You have to think about this. Lots of things we cannot do it in three minutes. It's creating system and processes. It's lots of system and processes in place. It's a really a management task. I'm telling you, the data scientists, even the genius from Google, even the genius, they're not gonna think all these factors. They're gonna not think in terms of this is an investment and where we're gonna go. So you need the AI playmaker to do this. And then uh, once you've made the decision, you're going to use what? Active learning to, you know, reduce the cost of this process of teaching the algorithm. And you're going to use something like a combination of uh, unsupervised and supervised learning. You could use another thing called transfer learning. I have, do not have the time to go into the details, but if you look and you search in my channel, I've done three interviews on these things, active learning. I was a French physicist that started the company. We have done supervised and unsupervised learning. Uh, quite recently, it was in the summer, and so transfer learning. So just search on my channel, find this, uh, these other videos. It's really important for the AI playmaker that you understand this end-to-end -end and you influence, or, or at least you ask the right questions to your technical counterparts, because otherwise, I'm telling you, if all this many complexity of decision is left under the purview purely of the executor, the scientist or whatever, you're gonna get the algorithm, but you're not gonna get the process and the 
thinking for making that business impactful, sustainable, and scalable over the peak, over the time. Now, there are various ways you can learn this. Uh, one is doing it. Two is uh, the, on the internet, you can make a lot of research, but this type of knowledge is in, doesn't really happen to be really in the things to find on the internet. You have to put together lots of sources. Another way is you can take my course because it's really the reason why the science, uh, the course is teaching these things and you find a lot of information there. So I hope this was useful. I understand it's a little technical, uh, but sometimes I like to go a little bit more technical, you know, like sometimes uh, we have to go a little bit behind the typical, you know, social media superficiality. But I'll be back soon with other videos, more general if you like. So stay tuned and uh, check these other videos and check my course.